Hello guys, Fuji here and I'm playing some more Fallout 3. So I'm going to keep going on. Hey, I'm gonna head back to Megaton and sell some items to them. Priority message. Backup is needed at our location. Any personnel listening on this frequency, please report at once. Going to a megaton first, sell some stuff, and make my way over there. Thank you. 
Thank you for the nice Welcome here. Welcome to Negative. We're all still breathing, so I know you didn't screw up. That's it. Be all you can be. God bless. Was he always needed? Or did you just so have to do it now? Okay, I know you were always. Why are these people moving? Hey, I hear you're that stray from the vault. Oh, I, good to meet you. I'm Moira Brown. I run Craterside Supply. But what I really do is mostly tinkering and research. Say, I'm working on a book about the wasteland. It'd be great to have the foreword by a vault dweller. Help me out, would you? Great! Just tell me what it's like to live underground all your life, or, or to come outside for the first time, or whatever strikes your fancy. A runaway dad, huh? I've seen plenty of them before, but none with the big 101 on their back. Good luck finding him. Maybe the armored vault suit will help you out there, huh? That'll be good for the book. In fact, want to help me with the research? I can pay you, and it'll be fun. Well, it's a dangerous place out there in the wastes, right? People could really use a compilation of good advice, like a wasteland survival guide. For that, I need an assistant to test my theories. I wouldn't want anyone to get hurt because of a mistake. Nobody's ever happy when that happens. No, then they just yell a lot at me with mean, mean words. So it's a good idea. I can't wait to help. Good enthusiasm! Now, I think the first chapter will have to be about surviving day-to-day -day dangers. Things like where it is and isn't safe to find food, the dangers of radiation, and how to avoid and even profit from dangerous landmines. Ooh, sounds like fun, doesn't it? Which do you want to do first? Radiation. Well, that's what I need your help for, isn't it? I know lots about it from books, but I never seem to get a live example. Not for long, anyway. So I need you to get a bit of radiation poisoning so I can study its effects. 
Oh, well, not a deadly dose, of course. I can fix you up before that. Yeah, I'll get ready. Just be ready to fix me up when I get back. Oh, you're a peach. Or at least some sort of hardy fruit that grows in the savagely irradiated mockery of agriculture we have nowadays. Now, 200 rads should be enough for basic sickness. But if you can get 600 or more rads, my test will be even more accurate. Just make sure you can get back here, and I'll see to it that you're well taken care of. Oh, sure thing. thing. Mainly just so I can sell stuff. Sell this space a little bit. So I'm not trying to use this though. I need the search blade. Don't need that. Don't hurt yourself. Try not to die. Well, hot damn. Name's Billy Creel. You call me Billy, all right? I know Megaton looks more like a boneyard than a town, but it ain't all bad. Take me and Maggie, for instance. We make do just fine. I trade the stuff I scavenge, and she helps keep me on the straight and narrow. <laughs> it's Maggie? Oh. Sorry, I guess I got ahead of myself, huh? Maggie's nine, sweetest little girl you'd ever care to meet. We take care of each other. I ain't never had a daughter, but if I did, I'd want her to be Maggie. I took her in when her parents got killed by raiders. That was two years ago. It was a pretty bad scene, small settlement up north. I'd stopped in to trade some salvage, and the whole place had been wiped out. I found Maggie hiding under a bed in the same room where her parents had been butchered. We've been together ever since. That's Catch you later. I'm hoping they can get closed when I come back. We're gonna keep going in this direction because something tells me this has something to do with Operation Anchorage. Now I plan on doing the DLCs too, but the reason why I'm doing this one first is, from what I've been told, there's a broken house armor you get at the end. A broken set of power armor. That's like almost nigh impossible to destroy. There's a bomb strapped to me. You've got to disarm it, quick! What? Okay. 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 Okay.
Gara. It's not good. Dude, I can't. You're trying to burn me. Where's he at? Sorry, I can't save that woman. But she ran off. It's not like I could have done anything. Honestly. Now, on we go. Gotta have to swap weapons. What's that? More rats. What do you need? Well, sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the very best kind. Try some. You've never tasted sweeter, I'll warrant. This is enough. Yeah. What do you need? I don't think they're good for taste. In the sense that I don't think they're like karma good hunters. Dog or not.
Got a death wish? Listen, local.
All right, local, mind it. Yeah, hey, I just wanted to. Where'd you video this thing on? I thought I'd come and lend hand. How the hell did you hear my signal? It's not broadcast on a standard frequency. Oh, I see. You've got one of those wrist-mounted computers. Well, well. Isn't that interesting? This? I picked for 3,000, let's see. Isn't that fancy? Listen, kid. Maybe you could help us out. We've been looking for someone. Why don't you head inside and talk to Protector McGraw? I'll radio ahead and let him know you're coming. A real calling in. Yeah, we took care of him. Listen, I'm sending down a local. You want to talk? Alright, let's go with this gonna end this episode guys. Be sure to please like subscribe for the notification for my next video. Comment down below if you have tips, suggestions, comments, whatever. Share this friends with make it your own videos. And yeah, bye guys.